Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be exploring the new fall products in store, just like this pumpkin candle holder. So this is the stacked pumpkin candle holder, very reminiscent to the soap holder we got last year, I believe. This is a brand new design. This is the, I guess it's a trunk with mushrooms and moss. That's what I'm going to be calling it. So this is a new fall find and I'm not sure if it's one that I will pick up, but if you're into mossy trunks, then there you go. With some mushrooms hanging off them. Let's see, where am I now? I went to so many stores a couple days ago for Halloween, and I decided to split up the Halloween finds and the fall finds. So we are at... I think this is the store in Beaumont. So we are going to take a quick look at their candle holders so i did find most of the fall ones i'm not sure if we're going to get a water globe this year but here's the squirrel with the acorn now this one looks pretty much very similar to last year's i believe um i have to dig mine out because i kind of forgot what it looks like but this one's kind of cool because you have the kind of copper color of the tree trunk and the gold of the leaves so it's actually really nice and of course the base is very glittery just like the one from last year and the squirrel is adorable i'm trying to get the best lighting and yeah this one's actually pretty cute i'm not sure if i would pick this one up because i have the squirrel one from last year but i am loving the fall candle holders i'm just wondering if we're going to get a water globe and here's another owl now bath and body works they love the squirrels and the owls and we have more this year so another owl with its eyes closed and again it is flocked just like some of the pieces that we've had recently i remember the flocked santa claus from either last year or two years ago uh here's a multicolor leaf um sleeve and what else do we have here so i guess that's all of the new ones i will be showing you um all of them again at a different store with some different candles on top and a little bit closer i actually like that sh that champagne apple and honey on the trunk but which was my favorite of those three i would have to say the squirrel and i am going to be picking up this stacked pumpkin candle holder and looks like it's orange and um what kind of green is that like a grayish green um, that one is pretty nice, but I will probably skip that one. Here's the, I don't know what you would call this, just a little bag, gift bag. Um, I do have this in a different color. They released this, I believe, last year in a purple, but that one is a nice fall, um, fall color. We have the pumpkin, uh, what is this, uh, uh, some kind of cappuccino or... I'm going to call it a pumpkin hot chocolate because that's what I like to drink during fall or when it's cold. Here's a little orange gift bag. It's um, made from, I guess, PVC and some kind of felt inside. Very cute. That one, what was it, like $5? And now I'm going inside the store in, I believe this is Paris. And let's see, P-E-R-R-I-S, not Paris. Oh, I wish there was Bath & Body Works in Paris. But let's see what kind of fall finds we have in this store. Uh, if you saw my Halloween video, I did take some clips from this store and I inserted it into that Halloween video. There is the luminary again. And I'm just going to do a quick look at the lid. And back to fall, we have the new cherry almond shortbread in the single wick. I wish I could say I absolutely love that scent, but I do not. The pumpkin bonfire is better and I really love the champagne apple and honey. I'm glad it's back in a single wick because last year the single wick of that scent was stronger than the three wick, um, surprisingly. Sweater weather, so those are the new fall single wicks. And there's the lid. Look at the lid. It's so cute. I love all the pumpkins. So they did um, a great job with the single wick lid. Uh, the pizza candle still hanging around that store. So now we are going into the Temecula Mall, I believe. And those are the 50% off candles that they had. Uh, we're looking at the pumpkin s'mores on top of the trunk with the moss and mushrooms. Pumpkin s'mores. Um, that one smells actually pretty good. I don't know if I get a lot of pumpkin from it, but I do think there's a graham cracker note and what was it, like the marshmallow note? So I, I do like it, um, but I just wish it was a little bit more pumpkin-y. Here are some of the other three-wick candles, mahogany apple and leaves, so some of the returning scents. I like the color of the leaves candle. I love a good burgundy. It's very fally. And this one is pumpkin, what was it, bonfire? 
let's take a look around here and we're going to look at this squirrel again and i'm loving the squirrel i think the gold really matches well with the copper of the tree and the cranberry woods that color um that dark burgundy looks really great with that along with the perfect pumpkin i love this wraparound candle they did a great job with that set of candles and we're taking a look at some new home decor i'm always loving the home decor items because sometimes they're just very very odd and i think this one is just kind of odd it's just very random and that i'm just gonna call it stick <laughs> that stick is 25 dollars, and this vase is what is it like 60 dollars it's very light though so i don't think it's worth it at all. i mean of, of course it's not worth it none of the home decor is worth it the tree from uh semi-annual sale that i got that one is 70 dollars. so they always price up these home decor items to the max and beyond but yeah, we know not to pay those prices. So here's the rest of, I don't know what this collection is called, but it's just so cute. The label is just so whimsical and they did a great job. It really gives me the fall feels. And there's a soap, taking a look at the pumpkin club. This one's my favorite. I love all the pumpkins everywhere and looks like a town that's really ready for fall and Halloween. And this one just gets you in the mood. And I kind of wish I could just be in that scene surrounded by all the fabulous fall happenings in that town um some more soap the fresh fall morning but i'm more interested in the candles and we have the sweater weather candle and i love the blue on the label there's another, another look at the owl with the sweater weather candle on top and here is more of the fall display there's the blue it's a stick with what what is that like a leaf on it um yeah for 25 dollars, you can have that blue thingy whatever it's called i'm gonna call it a duster i feel like you can just turn upside down and start dusting away um or maybe it's a little um broom um who knows i don't think i'll ever get that even if it's at uh, winter semi-annual sale because it's just not mm, not my thing mahogany apple and pumpkin apple pumpkin apple is amazing during fall it is a favorite i have more than enough of those candles and soaps so that will be a pass sweet cinnamon pumpkin is a great scent too and i have enough of those as well so i was loving all the fall soaps and candles um but yeah i think most of them i will be skipping because i have more than enough candles leaves and the soap are we getting leaves again in body care i have not heard um but let's see and fresh fall morning so i think this pretty much rounds up the soaps i am lying this is the sweater weather soap so again this is blue matching the uh candle glowing luminary three-wick candles let flickering foliage and the dancing oh i you are too slow garrett i love these candle cloches i think they they should sell them at bath and body works they are very classy and very elegant and it really um adds something to your decor or to your home just put a candle underneath it and or inside it boom fabulous and um, there was a little clip of me walking with mr ghosty and this is the store in escondido and i found another sass find that made me very happy i looked at the wall like i always do and i found two more of the a thousand wishes perfume so that was my great find for that store and i also found dressed in white but look at the lid the lid has changed and i took a better video at home i did swap out my sweet sister's candles for this one it was an even swap and it looks like a faux marble um it's probably not marble so i'm just gonna call it faux marble but it's very elegant looking and very heavy i was happy i was actually surprised that they put that candle lid on top of the dressed in white because that's a substantial lid and it could easily be used as a coaster and still it's a 26.95 candle so i was able to swap that out um let's see we are oh this was um oh, i forget where but i found plenty of the luxury fine fragrance mist and that was kind of cool because i've never seen them like that at any store because when they came out i was in europe uh taking a look at some crocs oh yeah now i forgot which store this is but i did find um a few of the croc pocket back holders um i will have to insert the store if i can remember i took i went to two main stores two days ago um and i yeah it gets a little confusing this is the 75 off section and i think this is the store in the mall in escondido i do believe 
Um, this clip was from the store in San Clemente, and I was taking a look at all of the all of the new pocket bags, and I did get the dazzling diamond. I thought that one smelled pretty nice. I have no idea what the scent notes are, and it's hard to describe really. It's definitely sweet. There must be some sugar in there, and maybe some some kind of fruit or yeah, kind of hard to describe, but. I, I'm actually really enjoying it. So that's Dazzling Diamond. There's the rest of the pocket bags. And yeah, so San Clemente had some of some candles that I haven't seen at many stores or at all stores, really, except for maybe the Clips of Clementine. Um, so those were kind of cool to see. And today at the outlet, I did find some new fall pocket bag holders. And look, look at that owl. Looks like a owl holding a slice of pecan pie, I do believe. And here's another one. They are all so cute. They just did a great job with the fall pocket back holders. There's a fox and it does have a furry tail. Um, yeah, it's always tempting to get these pocket back holders because they do such a great job and they're all so cute. But I didn't get any. I was pretty good. I was distracted by other things at the outlet store. Yeah, I went to the outlet store today and yesterday. So... And that's what happens, I guess, when you live close to the outlet and it's very, very tempting. I should stop going. So I also went to the Grossmont Center today and I stumbled upon this new pumpkin candle holder and I'm putting the perfect autumn on top of it. I think it's nice, but I feel like you can get something like this at another store for like maybe 20 bucks or 15 Yeah, I feel like this is an item that you might find at Michael's and if you wait long enough, then you can get it for pretty cheap. So... I'll probably wait on that, or I don't know if I'll even get it. Um, and Grossmont Center, they had these flashing lights inside the leaves uh, candle. I thought it was very weird. I did ask the associate what the deal was with the lights, and I guess she just... They, they said that they put the twinkling lights inside an empty candle to show off the candle holder. The owl does not come with any kind of flashing lights. So, yeah, it's interesting that they, they decided to put flashing lights inside an empty candle but i guess there you go so that's something that you can do with your candle and my next video will be a walkthrough from the outlet so i will see you there bye